So from the given question, we are given that Elena did a project on climate change at 1400 hours each day. She recorded the temperature in degrees Celsius for a certain town. The information is given in the frequency table below. So as we can see from the information, we are given this in terms of uh, class intervals. That is, uh, we are dealing with the grouped data or grouped information and their corresponding uh, frequencies. So from this part, the, we are given 2.1 determine, that is for how many days did the learner collect the data? For how many days? So that's from the given frequencies. Each and every day, right? This one, that was the temperature given this. So we add now the frequencies as they correspond to the number of days. This one was recorded two, two days, four days, nine days, and so on. So that's the sum of the given uh, frequencies, all right? So if we are going to combine these, there's two plus four plus nine, then we move on to five, to seven, to three. We add everything. That was going to give us a total of what? Of 30. So meaning to say for 30 days. For 30 days. All right. Moving on to the other part of the question, which is 2.2. Write down the model class for the data. So the model class, the one that has got uh, the highest frequency as we are given this uh, distribution where are we having the highest frequency from this one? Nine is the highest frequency. So the corresponding class, uh, that's 28 to 32, all right? So that's our model class T is greater than or equal to 20 as it is given on the table, all right? Then 2.3, estimate the mean of the data for three marks. So the mean can be determined. Remember, we are dealing with the grouped data. So I told you guys, you are going to need uh, the sum of the product of frequency to their midpoints, all right? So it follows that the mean value will be equal to the sum of the frequency to the midpoint, the sum uh, of the products, frequency and the midpoints over the sum of the frequencies. So we must have the midpoints first in order for us to determine uh, the product of the two. So you must make adjustments from the table that we are given. Uh, let us just make some few adjustments. Just to have uh, two uh, columns. All right, so just gonna quickly have two columns. Uh, in this case, that is the first column for the midpoints and the other column is going to be for the product, all right, of the frequency to their corresponding uh, mean values for each interval, all right? So that is it, guys. So here we're going to have uh, X, which is the midpoints. That is representing X. Then here we're going to have the frequency, which is F times X frequency times midpoint. So that is it, guys. Remember how to determine the midpoint, lower class added to the upper class boundary divided by two. So the first class from 20 to 24, now add, all right? So you add uh, 20 and 24, then divide by two, just like this, 20 plus 24 over a two like this. So that was going to give us uh, 22, in between, you do the same thing between 24 and 28, that's 26, 28 and 32, which is uh, 30, 32 and 36, which is uh, 34, 36 and 40, which is 38, 40 and 44, the midpoint is gonna be 42. So the product now, frequency to the midpoint, giving us 
last column here. So we're going to multiply uh, 2 and 22. That was going to give us uh, 44, all right? So you multiply each. So this was 44. 4 and 26, uh, that's 104, all right? 4 times 26. So that's 4 and uh, 26, I mean, which is uh, 104. Then we move on to 9 and uh, 30, which is 270. 5 and 34, which is going to give us uh, 226, all right? 5, let's just multiply this one, 5 and what? 34. So that's 170, this one, all right? 170. Then 7 and 38, which is uh, 266. 3 and 42, that's uh, 126, okay? So that is uh, what you're going to need. And the sum, add everything from this column of frequency and what midpoints you add everything. That was going to give us uh, 980. Okay, so using the sum of this and the sum of the frequencies, the mean estimated mean can be what can be determined from the formula that we have uh, stated before so that's our mean was going to give us what so you take this sum 980 all right so we obtained 980 over what for the total frequencies uh, that was a 30 the number of days that we had all together uh, remember this was what? This was 30. So that was over a 30. All right, so let's just hope uh, this one is not going to affect my presentation here. All right, so that's a 30. Then uh, let's divide 980, divide by 30 like this. So that's uh, as a decimal, all right? So 32,66 and so on which is uh, 0.67, 32,67, okay? So we can have this one as uh, 32, okay, 0.67, all right? So that's the estimated uh, mean uh, temperature as we are having our temperature in what? In degrees Celsius, okay? So that's how these questions are given as we just have to be very careful on how to represent your, uh, your final answers. 2.4, calculate the percentage of days on which the temperature was at least 28 degrees Celsius, at least more than or equal to. More than or equal to this. At least you are starting from that. Starting from 28, more than that. So how do we answer this type of a question? We need the percentage of days. So we must have the number of days where the temperature was more than 28. More than or equal to 28. So as we can see from the distribution, that we are given 28. So as we can see from uh, 28, according to the information, it's at this point where we are given, remember I said at least 28. So at least means more than, so we consider more than that or equal to more than or equal to the given value. So they said uh, in this case, it was at least 28. So starting from, starting from 28 degrees Celsius. So the previous one, there is a 28, but take note, the T is less than, if we go back to our inequalities, the temperature here is what? Less than 28. 
We do not need something that is less than. We need more than. So do not be tempted with that class because you see the 28. No, it's not about seeing the 28. It's about in which interval exactly. More than or equal to 28. So where t is greater than or equal to 28. We start from that class interval. So it corresponds to what? To 9. But they said, it's at least meaning to say starting from there, 30, all these 32, 36, they are also involved because they are more than 28. Starting from that 28, starting from there, so we're going to count from this 9 up to the last one. We have to add. Those are the, 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 the ones that are corresponding to values which are more than 28 degrees Celsius. So how many days? First, uh, let's talk about the days which are having the temperature that is more than or equal to 28. So we're going to add 9 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3. We add uh, the days that we are given. So that was going to give us what? 9 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3. All right. So that was going to give us a sum of uh, 24. Thus, we are referring to 24 days. But the question is, calculate the percentage. The percentage of what? Of days. So as a percentage now, we are going to take the sum into consideration. All the days that we considered, how many are they? 24. That is a temperature which is more than or equal to 20. There are 24 of them out of how many? Remember our total 30 days were being recorded. But out of 30 days, 24 days had temperature, which is at least 28. So that's the concept. So 30 out of 24 times what? 100%. Remember, we need a percentage multiplied by 100%. So 24 over 30 times 100%. So that's it. This was going to give us 80. So we have got 80%. Uh, 80% of uh, the days, that is the percentage of number of days, 80%. So do revise as many questions as you can. Uh, prepare yourselves for the exams that are ahead of time.